Think about what Canada has been facing. This video coming in from Ottawa. This is just incredible. Wow. They're so much closer to all the fires. And Kendall, the visibility, it just makes it in just extremely dangerous out mm -hmm. there for a good chunk of Ottawa. Northeast winds are pushing all that smoke uh, really into next week as well. Fox Weather's Max Gordon, by the way, is live in Ottawa to break down the severity of the smoke. Max. Hey there, Craig. Well, I believe we were just looking at video taken yesterday, and the irony of all of this is that here in Ottawa today, the air quality is much better than it is in the northeast right now. You can see, well, visibility is pretty good behind me, about 10 miles of visibility according to the Fox Weather app. Really, this just shows how important the wind direction is when it comes to experiencing all this smoke and the air quality that you will experience depending on which area of the continent that you are in right now. Now we've also had some rain here in the Ottawa area that's helped clear out the atmosphere. Still fires in Canada are burning out of control right now. According to the most updated information from the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Center, there are 432 active fires burning across the country with half of these fires burning out of control. The fires have burned around 4.2 million hectares of land, which is around 10.4 million acres. On average, around 6 million acres of land burned during Canada's fire season, but this year's scorching start is the result of ongoing drought and warm temperatures in some parts of Canada. The wildfires have forced thousands to evacuate and have blanketed the eastern parts of the country with smoke. I want to recognize the air quality statements that have been issued by Environment Canada because of wildfire smoke. People across the country are being affected. We're seeing vulnerable people at risk, outdoor events cancelled, kids having to be kept inside at recess. Now, along with lots of Canadian firefighters hard at work battling these blazes, hundreds of firefighters have come from around the world to help out. That includes firefighters from the U.S., New Zealand, and also South Africa. Guys, back to you. Max Gordon, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Boy, it just changes. It goes to show how ebbs and flows, and depending on where you yeah. are and what the wind is doing, it could all change. We appreciate it. Thank you, Max. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.